In today's video, we'll be looking at the Themes tab in our XKCurl map. Stay tuned. The second tab on the bottom here is our Themes page. When you click on the Themes page, the pattern is going to start playing in the LEDs. We have all kinds of presets on here. You have the ability to customize these patterns. Swipe to the left, click Modify. You can change out the colors. Pick a different changing pattern. And then you have speed and brightness adjust at the bottom. Everything is reflected in real time, so as you're choosing it on the phone, it's reflected through the LEDs. Click save and it'll save the new pattern. The zones that are connected to the phone will pop up at the top. Right now we have zones one and two, and I can run different patterns on different zones. So I'm running zone one on Christmas and zone two on Halloween, and that's reflected on each pattern. I can also create my own pattern by clicking new, selecting the colors, choosing the changing pattern. I can control the speed and brightness. You can edit the name up here. And the pattern will save at the top. I also have the ability to set a pattern as the default. To do that, all you do is swipe left, click set as default, and click startup theme. So I can shut the controller off. And then when it powers back on, it plays my new custom pattern. There are also a few differences between the iOS app and the Android app. If you click on the themes page, to edit a theme, you click the little eye icon on the right hand side and it pulls up the editor. To make the selected theme your default pattern, you don't swipe over to the left like on iOS. There's a little play icon here. Click the play icon, click OK, start up theme, and then your default is set. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with XK Glow. We'll see you next time.